Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm making stuffed peppers, and it's sort of a leftover makeover meal. What I have here are uh, the four peppers that when I was doing peppers earlier um, in the season, and I'm just going to set them, they're frozen. I hollowed them out and I froze them. And I'm just going to set them right in this pie plate. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to stuff them with. It's real simple. I have a can of my home canned ground beef. It's already cooked. I have a cup of rice. Really dry, but it's cooked. And that's from the last time we had Chinese food. And here is some leftover spaghetti sauce. Let's make stuffed peppers. I can't believe that I missed this. I thought I was recording, folks. What I've got in here is my can of home canned ground beef, one cup of leftover cold white rice from uh, that was cooked in from our last order of Chinese food, and I've added minced garlic, crushed parsley, and chives, and just a few tablespoons of my sauce just to give it some moisture. Okay, I'm going to have to explain myself here. When I mixed the hamburger, the cup of rice, and the seasonings, and a little bit of sauce, I thought that would be enough to fill the peppers. It wasn't. So, I took all the stuffing back out of the peppers, went into my fridge looking for the second cup of rice. There wasn't one. So I ad-libbed and I added um, celery, canned celery. All right. I've decided to add a jar of celery in here. I wanted to show you folks that the celery still holds its shape even after cooking. This will bulk things up. I thought I had more rice. I didn't. All right, that should fill. Now let's refill. Let's just break this up into quarters. You want to do this while the peppers are frozen or they're going to fall apart and smush down together and all kinds of stuff. So, it's brilliant. I don't know who told me to do the running using the canning funnel, but somebody told me to use a canning funnel. All right. Now, we don't want to push these down too hard, but we want them down enough. Let's give you some more meat over here so that we can spoon some of our sauce. Yes, I probably should have used more rice. Some sauce right in there. Our leftover spaghetti sauce. The rest I'll use for goulash tomorrow. Let's parmesan these. And these are going into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Now, I hope I haven't burned these because I got talking on the phone. Oh, oh they smell so good! Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, golden. That cheese is golden brown. You know what, folks? Whenever I get peppers now, ouch! at the market for dehydrating I am definitely going to hollow more out and freeze them like that because that was just a meal waiting to happen look at that and where's Papa's pepper <laughs> this 
is those uh, stuffed peppers. The, the peppers I hollowed out and just froze them that way. Mm -hmm. And then I had rice left over from our Chinese food and leftover spaghetti sauce. So I just... Okay. There you go. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, from now on, when I go to the farmer's market and I get a case of peppers, I'm definitely going to freeze a whole bunch just the way I did. Because that was a no-brainer. Canned meat, leftover rice, leftover spaghetti sauce, and frozen peppers made a decent meal. Not just a decent meal, a delicious meal. So there you go. Take care. God bless.